everyone, this is Joyce Whitman with Stampin' Scrapper. I'm an independent demonstrator for Stampin' Up. Tonight, I'm gonna to show you how to make a, um, a cute note card holder. It's very easy, and guess what? It's made with one sheet of 12 by 12 paper, so it's gonna be fast, it's gonna be easy, but I wanted to show you, this is my Merry Christmas Monday, week number one of 2020. So here is our little holder, and it will fit four note cards and I have them decorated this way and so what I'm going to show you though tonight it's going to be a fast video is I just want to show you how to make this the holder part um, I'm not going to go through and make design uh, make the cards too I'm just going to go ahead and show you how to make the holder so let's go ahead and get started the first thing you're going to do is you're going to use the your 12 by 12 paper and I'm going to use the um, Snowflake Splendor tonight. It's beautiful. Here is a, like a watercolor with uh, speckles in it. And the other side, of course, is snowflakes. I want to make sure, see if you can, I'm not sure if I can leave that in there while we do this or not, but we'll try. So what I'm going to do is you need to decide what side do you want up first. Do you want the snowflakes on the left-hand side here? See how it's on the left-hand side? I have the little snowflakes and I have the big snowflakes on the right-hand side. So you wanna see which ones do you want on your left-hand side and that's the ones you're going to put up. So I'm gonna put that up at the top because I want the big snowflakes on the right-hand side. So the first thing you're going to do, let me make sure this comes down here so you can see it. Okay, the first thing we wanna do is we're going to score at two inches. Now, one thing you want to make sure is when you go to use your stylus, you are using the bigger end, the little ends for cardstock, the bigger ends for designer series paper, and don't push down super hard. You want to just do it gently, make your crease, but do it gentle. Um, if you do it too hard, you can either crack your paper or even rip your paper if you do it too hard. So we're going to do it at two inches, five and three fourths, six and a quarter, and 10 inches. Then we're gonna turn, whoops, didn't go all the way down. Gotta make sure I'm doing that. Ah. Okay, then we're gonna turn it, a quarter of a turn, and we're gonna score this at two and a half and eight and a quarter. And that is it for scoring. The rest is just folding. How cool is this? So what you're going to want to do is, again, you want to have the side that you're going to have on your right, left-hand side up on top. But first, we need to burnish, burnish all of these. Now, I'm going to start off first with just folding them. I'm not going to use my bone folder quite yet, but I'm just going to use my hands and go on all of my creases first. Okay, so I have everything folded. Again, you want this, oops, you know what? I did. Okay, let's refold. I need to fold it the other direction. Ta -da! Again, I'm just using my hands right now. I'm not using my bone folder yet. I'm just using my hands. Okay. So you want the part, that, the side that you want up on the top, you want that, I mean on the left hand side, you want that facing you. So we have four rectangles here on the corners and they're uneven. These are two are smaller and these two are bigger. But what we're gonna do is you're gonna take this point here, this line here, and you're gonna bring it over here. I mean edge, not line, you're gonna bring it over here. But one thing you wanna do is, what I do is I just lightly push this down. I'm not even giving it, it's real light, so you can barely see the line, but I'm just doing the line. And then I'm gonna bring this over to make sure that it lays nice before I give it a crease, it does. So then I'm gonna push harder and I'm gonna come in with my bone folder because then I know it's right where I want it. I'm gonna do the same thing with this side. I'll make sure I'm in focus here so you guys can see. I'm gonna bring the top edge over to the score line and you don't want to go exactly on the line. You want to go next to it, if that makes sense. I'll bring it up. See, I'm not on the line. I'm just next to it. 
So I wanna, again, I'm gonna bring this in and make sure it's laying flat when I do that crease, it is. So then I'm gonna go ahead, I wanna make sure that corner is to a direct point before I do that, there we go. There, I like how it's laying and I'm gonna come in with my bone folder. So I'm gonna flip it and I'm gonna do the exact same thing on these corners. Now, this is a bigger rectangle here, which is fine. So we're gonna bring it down again. And I wanna make sure that this point is pretty, um, pretty pointy. <laughs> uh, make sure it is pretty much right where you want a uh, good point there just to make it look nice and neat. And that is where I want it. It's laying nice. Okay, so this side is all laying nice. Now I'm gonna come in with my bone folder and give that a nice crease. Okay, do this side. Again, the same thing. I wanna make sure, this is when my nails come in handy to keep it up there. Okay, lightly bring it down. Oh, it's not laying that nice. So I'm gonna go back in here again. I had it too close to the score line that it wasn't laying nice. So I'm gonna try it again. There we go, now we're laying nicer. So now we can go in and do our, use our bone folder and get a nice crisp crease. Okay, so now we have it like this. This is what your paper should look like. You're gonna take it and you're gonna flip it over like this. Now you want the smaller section here on the top. This is your bigger section. So you want your smaller section on the top, you're gonna to bring it down and you're going to bone fold. I'm not bone, burnish it. I wanna make sure that's a nice crease. The same thing with this. I'm gonna bring it up and I'm gonna do a nice crease. Now one thing else I'm going to do is I want to make sure that my center lines are burnished. So I'm gonna go ahead quick and do that. Okay. So now we're back here. Top is here. The smaller part, the bigger part's there. Bring your top down. Bring your bottom up. And this little piece right here, see how they're overlapping? Guess what? It fits right inside there. Just tuck it in like that. Now, you can see, you can see how it's buckling a little bit, but when you bend it, so it's gonna buckle. I don't know, so you can tell how it's not flat right there don't worry about that because when you go to bend it like this and this is going to be your um there's your note card holder it fits perfect these are our note cards and you're going to slide it in here now you can get four note cards in here you can put two note cards and envelopes on each side of this and when you put it together you will see on here See how much nicer it folds, and it folds a lot nicer once you get these in here. Here, let me move them over here so you can see. So don't, whoops, one of my, ah, my little snowflakes came off. I'll have to put that back on. Um, and you slide it in here. It will fit nicely. Whoops, come here, slide in. There we go. And then you're going to just close it like that, and voila. And you have an adorable little Nope, um, holder. Now, one thing I will show you quickly, um, like I said, I just wanted to do show you this quickly. I'm um, not able to do um, a Facebook Live this week for it, so I wanted to show you how to make that. But this, all I did was use my layering ovals. The um, white here is embossed with the snow, I think it's snow, so this is a snowflake embossing folder. I'm sorry. I will have all of this on my blog. Oh, here. I have it right here. It is called Winter Snow Embossing Folder. And then I use Winter um, Snow Wonder for my snowman. And the greeting came from Itty Bitty Christmas. And I did the coloring. Like I said, all of this will be on my blog. Um, well, you're seeing this on my blog. So, of course, you know it's on my blog. Um, but it will be there. And it will have all the dimensions and everything. And even the, I will have all the measurements written out on the um, designer series paper so that you can 
do this yourself. So I hope this video helped you on how to put this on. Oh, one thing I wanted to tell you with the ribbon, see my ribbon is moving. When you go to attach this, use dimensionals, put them on top here and on bottom so your ribbon will move. If you want it to move, if not, you can put a little tape here to hold it um, before you set this on it. But there you go. So you guys have a great night and thank you for joining me. Bye-bye. And there you go.